Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, use harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, use harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. She was kissing, I was wishing, didn't know what she was about. Robbed me of my gold and silver, then she kicked me, threw me out. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, juice harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Blue it is a pretty color before it gets the second dip. Young boys, when they go a courting, very often get the slip. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, juice harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Ripest apples soon grow rotten, hottest love will soon grow cold. Pretty fair maids are soon forgotten. I pray, young man, don't be so bold. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, juice harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Deepest water running swiftly, birds are flying through the air. Kiss a young man, go a courting, kind sir, I don't have a care. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, juice harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, juice harp. Rattle on the stovepipe, boot jack, Joe. Oh, mother, I had a warning dream. Oh, mother, I had a dream. I dreamed the bunny lass of Lachlan Lane was tapping to get in. Lie down, lie down, Lord Gregory. Lie down and take a sleep. It was just an hour and a half ago She was tapping at your gate Oh, you vile woman, oh, you vile woman Oh, you vile woman, you Why didn't you rise and let her in? or even wake in me. Sell to me your gray mare, or sell to me the brown, or sell to me the fastest horse that ever a man rode on. Then he rode east, and he rode west, and he rode all around. He rode till he came to the Lachlan Lane, and there he found her dead. A silken scarf was round her throat, a plaid shawl round her head, and in her bosom was placed a note, and this is what it said. Do you remember Lord Gregory? When we sat on yonder's hill, we changed the rings from each other's fingers, but oh, mine was the best. Mine was of the pure, pure gold, and yours was scarce light in. But mine was fond and full of love, and yours proved false within. Deal fast, deal fast your bread and wine, deal fast and so you may. For tomorrow morning at this same hour, you will deal the same for me. 
He was buried in St. Mary's churchyard. She in the Lachlan Lane, and from her grave there grew arrows, and out from his abrier. And those two grew, and those two flew, and those two twined together, and every person who passed thereby said those two loved each other. Time tis a pretty flower that grows out under the sun, and it's time you and I have come to an end, for it's now our time rolls on. It's very well drinking ale, but it's still better drinking wine, and it's far better sitting on a bunny boy's knee that gains his heart of mine. Time tis a pretty flower that grows out under the sun, and it's time you and I have come to an end, for it's now our time rolls on. Oh, she walks in the garden, this lady oh so fine, and she weeds her gardens green, lets no one steal her time. Time tis a pretty flower that grows out under the sun, and it's time you and I have come to an end, for it's now our time rolls on. It's very well drinking ale, but it's still better drinking wine, and it's far better sitting on a bunny boy's knee that gains his heart of mine. Time tis a pretty flower that grows out under the sun, and it's time you and I have come to an end, for it's now our time rolls on. Oh, the rifle boys are leaving town, poor girls, what will they do? Leaving many's a handsome, pretty, fair mate to lament in grief and woe. Leaving many's a handsome, pretty, fair mate to lament in grief and woe. For the rifle boys have got their rights, and they will march tomorrow. Said the mother to her daughter, I'll confine you to your room, and I'll keep you there until such times as the rifle boys are clean out of town. It's for seven long years you'll confine me, and the eighth one will set me free. I'll roam around from town to town till I join their company, said the mother to her daughter. What makes you talk so strange? For a soldier's nothing but a rambling blade, and he gets but little pay. For a soldier's nothing but a rambling blade, and he gets but little pay. How can a man maintain his wife on nineteen cents a day? Said the daughter to her mother, How can you run them down? For there's many's a wealthy farmer's son Who's belonging to their crown. There's many's a handsome, pretty, fair maid Who loves them as well as I. When the bugle it begins to sound And it fills their hearts with joy Up steps the young drummer With his swell accordion drum Which he beats from nine in the morning Till four in the afternoon he beats it gentine and handsome, and he makes a melodious noise. 
Which causes the girls those sweet angelic pearls For to follow the rifle boys Oh, my love is gentine and handsome And the suit he wears is blue Oh, my love is gentine and handsome I believe his heart is true Oh, my love is gentine and handsome With a dark and a rolling eye I'll lay my life or I'll be his wife Or for his sake I'll die Well met, well met, my own true love, and very well met, said he. I have just returned from the salt, salt sea, and it's all for the sake of thee. I could have married a queen's daughter, and she would have married me. But I refused a crown of gold, and it's all for the sake of thee. If you could have married a queen's daughter, then she should have married thee. For me, young man, you have came too late. For I've married a house carpenter. If you will leave your house carpenter and go along with me, I will take you down where the grass grows green on the banks of the river Dee. If I were to leave my house carpenter and go along with thee, what have you got to maintain a wife or keep her from slavery? I have seven ships at sea and seven more in port and a hundred and twenty-four jolly jolly boys and they all will wait on thee she called then her two pretty babes and she kissed them most tenderly saying stay at home my two pretty babes and bear your own father company she had not sailed on sea two weeks i'm sure not sailed on three till here she sat in her new husband's cabin weeping most bitterly oh do you weep for gold he said or do you weep for fear or do you weep for your house carpenter that you left when you came here I do not weep for gold, she said, nor do I weep for fear, but I do weep for my two pretty babes that I left when I came here. She had not sailed on sea three weeks, I'm sure not sailed on for till overboard her fair body she threw and her weeping is heard no more. 
her curse did attend a sea sailor's life. Her curse did attend a sailor's life. For the robbing of the house carpenter and stealing away his wife. A maiden possessed with great beauty, she stood at her own father's gate. While the soldiers were out upon duty, to view them this maiden did wait. The horses were capering and prancing, their coat remnants shone like a star. On the plains they were nearer advancing, she spied her young gallant hussar. T'was there she conversed with her soldier, those words she was heard for to say. Cried Jane, I've a heart that's more bolder, to follow my laddie away. It's six months and bread and cold water. My parents can find me for you. Oh, hard hearted friends to a daughter whose heart it is loyal and true. Oh, Jane, it's your friends, you must mind them, or else you're forever undone. They'll leave you no portion behind them. I pray do my company shun. Oh, if they can find me forever, and banish me from you afar. I'll follow my soldier so clever, and wed with my gallant hussar. As he gazed on her beautiful features, those words of love he did say, I'll wed with this beautiful creature, for sake of cruel wars he did cry. Oh, now they're united together, friends think on them now when they're far. Kind heaven protect them for ever. Young Jane and her gallant Hazar. Oh, hark, my love, the drums do beat, and I must haste away. The bugle sweetly sounding, I can no longer stay. For I am bound for Portsmouth, tis many a long, long mile, to join the British army on the banks of the Nile. I'll dress myself in velveteen, I'll go along with you. I'll volunteer as servant, I'll go to England too. I'll fight beneath your banners, in fortune on you smile. I'll be your loving comrade on the banks of the Nile. Your fingers are too slender, love, your waist it is too small. Your precious form it is too weak to stand a cannonball. Your precious form it is too weak to stand such a hard climate. Of the sultry sons of Africa, your precious blood to spoil. Oh, cursed, cursed be the day that ever war began. 
It's taken away from Canada for many a gallant man. It's taken away our home guard, protectors of our soil, and their bodies feed the worms now on the banks of the Nile. I once loved a lass, and I oft heard her tell. There was not a young man she loved half so well. She solemnly promised to be my sweet wife, and to make me right happy all the days of my life. As I went to see her one moonshiny night, it's all the way there I was blessed with delight. It's all the way there I was blessed with her charms, but I found her safe locked in another man's arms. Are those the false promises you off to me spoke? Or are they like pie crust they're made to be broke? If that is the case, why, it's Molly goodbye. And I am resolved now your betters to try. Oh, green grows the laurel and so does the rue. How sorry am I, love, for the parting with you. The next time we meet, why, all things we'll renew. We'll change the green laurels from orange to blue. Oh, can you love little, or can you love less? Or can you tell the young man the which you love best? Oh, I can love little, and I can love long, and I can love a new one when the old one is gone. My love is like the dewdrop, it falls on the thorn. Comes on in the evening, goes off in the morn. I've love in my pockets, but none in my heart. I can love almost anyone for a sweetheart. I can kiss them and court them till I gain their hearts kind. And when my back's to them, I can alter my mind. There's many one real yarn who ne'er filled a spurn. There's many a milkmaid who has ne'er churned a churn. There's many a poor fellow who is sorely beguiled. There's many a man fathers, another man's child. There are just as many fishes as there are in the sea. If I can't catch a good one, why then I'll go free. There are just as many fishes as there are in the sea. If I can't catch a good one, why then I'll go free. So fill up your glasses, all sorrows to drown, and we'll drink the girl's good health as the world goes around. The wind, it blew all from the north way when he came wooing me. He said he would take me way to the north way, and there he'd marry me. Bring me some of your father's gold, and some of your mother's fee. Two of the best horses from the stable, where there stands thirty and three. She brought him some of her father's gold and some of her mother's fee. Two of the best horses from the stable where there stood thirty and three. 
She mounted on her milk white steed, and he on the dapple gray. They rode till they came down to the seaside, three hours before it was day. She jumped down off the dapple's back and alighted onto the ground. Unfold, unfold your white silken gown and deliver it unto me. Unfold, unfold your white silken gown and deliver it unto me. It's six pretty maids I have drowned here, and the seventh one you shall be. If I must unfold my white silken gown, then I pray turn your back towards me. I don't think it right for a villain like you, a naked woman to see. So he turned his back towards her, while she did so bitterly weep. She grabbed him round the small of the waist, and she landed him into the deep. He sped high and he sped low, and he sped near to the side. Take hold of my hand, my pretty Polly, and I will make you my bride. Lie there, lie there, you false-hearted man. Lie there instead of me. It's six pretty maids you have drowned here, but the seventh one drowned thee. She mounted on her milk-white steed. She led the dapple gray. She rode till she came to her father's door. One hour before it was day. The parrot being up in the castle so high, on seeing the maiden did say, Oh, what is the matter, my pretty Polly? You tarry such a long time away. Oh, hold your tongue, my pretty parrot. Don't tell no tales on me. And your cage will be made of the fine beaten gold and your doors of the best ivory. The queen being up in the castle so high, on hearing the parrot did say, Oh, what is the matter, my pretty parrot? You prattle so long before day. No laughing matter, the parrot replied. Oh, how loudly I call upon thee. There is a cat on the window so high, I'm afraid she might worry me. Well turned, well turned, my pretty parrot. Well turned, well turned, cried she. Your cage will be made of the fine beaten gold and be hung on an olive tree. Grandfather, grandfather, hitch up your grey mare. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Austin's must go to the old county fair. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Grandfather, grandfather, hitch up your grey mare. Out along, down along, out along Lee. 
Ossens will wear big white bows in our hair. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Grandfather, grandfather, hitch up your grey mare. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Ossens must go to the old county fair. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Grandfather, grandfather, hitch up your grey mare. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Ossens will dress in our best truly fair. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Grandfather, grandfather, hitch up your grey mare. Out along, down along, out along Lee. Ossens must go to the old county fair. Out along, down along, out along Lee. There was a lord in Edinburgh, and he had one only son. Courted a girl in the lower countries till he thought he had her won. He got consent from old and young, from father and mother likewise. Till, oh, she cried, I am undone, with the salt tears in her eyes. She wrote her love a letter, and she sealed it with her hand, that on her wedding day she would be wed to another man. He wrote her back an answer, and he sealed it with a ring, that on her wedding day she would put on a suit of green. A suit of the same I will put on for your wedding I'll prepare, and I'll wed you, my gay lady, in spite of all that's there. Then he rode east, and he rode west, and he rode all around. He rode till he'd got one hundred men, all for the highlands bound. He seated them, he placed them, all in the streets of Bragg. And then away to the wedding house this gentleman did walk. They welcomed him, both old and young, and asked him how he'd spent the day. And if he'd seen those highland troops who had just rode out that way. He laughed at them, he scorned them, and on to them did say. It might have been some highlanders who just rode out for play. He filled up a glass of the new malt wine, and he tossed it round and round, saying, Happy, happy is the man who now they call the groom, but happier, happier will be the man who shall enjoy the bride. For if anyone loved her as I do, he'd take her from his side. Up stepped the groom all in a rage, and an angry groom was he, saying, If for fighting here you've came, I'm the man that will fight thee. It's not for fighting here I've came, good fellowship I'll show. One single kiss from the bonny bride, and away from here I'll go. He took her by the lily white hand and by the grass green sleeve, and he led her straight from the company of the company ask no leave. Yonder she rides close by his side, dressed up like any queen. She's guarded by one hundred men, all dressed right up in green. Come all young men, both far and near, a warning take by me. And don't be tricked as I have been all on your wedding day. Oh, here's to the faggot cutter, he works at home with me. He starts to work at six o'clock and quits whene'er he please. He cuts his wood in faggot bundles, he lays it on the ground. Then he takes his cord and binds it 
Drink round, my boys, drink round. Drink round, my boys, drink round, my boys, until it comes to me. For the longer that you sit and drink, the merrier you will be. I owe no debts, I pay no frets, no troubles do I find. I have no cradles for to rock, no babies for to mind. I'm bound to lead a single life, no matter where I roam. Then no man in life will court my wife when I am far from home. Drink round, my boys, drink round, my boys, until it comes to me. For the longer that you sit and drink, the merrier you will be. For if I should marry a good-looking girl, a couple we'd surely be. If I should marry a homely one, the boys would laugh at me. If I should marry a big one, she would surely knock me down. And small women are darn contrary. Drink round, my boys, drink round. Drink round, my boys, drink round, my boys, until it comes to me. For the longer that you sit and drink, the merrier you will be.